Okay, hi, lovelies. Um, so this is gonna be actually kind of a themed vlog. Like, I actually have something I want to talk about, something I'm very passionate about right now. Um, and but first, but first, but first, but first, before I go into this, before I go into this, I want to say something really quick. So I had a story to tell you all last night, but I didn't get a chance to because I got home late. I was tired, and yeah, I had to calm down and shut and such. So if somebody, t sorry, if somebody is obviously freaking out and obviously not doing okay. And you say, it's just a joke, you're an asshole. Straight the fuck up, alright? Alright, alright. Preface this by saying that, okay, I'm afraid of the dark. And I almost had an anxiety attack at work because we got super busy. Like, there was a lot of things happening at once. And I was trying to keep track of everything. Of course, when I start, like, when I start panicking, I start losing my mind. Like, I can't remember things as easily. And when I started doing that, I panicked more. So it was basically an endless cycle of slowly panicking. Thankfully, I never had a panic attack, but I was, like, slowly getting there. Um, and as soon as, like, the rush calmed down, you know, everything was, like, chill, I went back, calmed down, I was fine, but I was still a little bit on edge, so I knew that if something like that happened again, I might have actually, like, snapped. It was not good, but I had to go and put something in the, the walk-in fridge, so I go do that. Someone holds it open, one of the kitchen staff holds it open for me, I'm like, thanks. Um, I go, I go to put whatever I need to get to put in the fridge, I go grab something else, the door closes, I think, oh, someone needs to, like, leave or something like that, or someone needs to walk by, and then the light turns off. The light fucking turns off, and I scream, like, have you ever heard those, like, bloody murder screams, like, in horror movies, like, those ear-piercing screams? Yeah, that's what I did, and I have a really good one, too, like, holy shit, holy shit, I have a really good ear-piercing scream, um, so, I do that, grab what I need, get the fuck out of there as fast as I can, and I see one of the kitchen staff laughing, and I literally go storming to him, like, cursing the fuck out, like, and when I mean cursing the fuck out, I mean, like, so most of the time, like, I try not to, like, be really rude to, or, like, mean, um, if, like, the, the kitchen staff, they, like, say something, or, like, harass me or whatnot, I kind of just, like, glare at them, but I don't say anything, um, or I just be like, no, stop, but I don't really, like, go any further than that, because, you know, since I work with them, since the kitchen, they deal with the food that I have to serve to people, I don't want them to be mad at me and then cause trouble for me. So I try to at least stay, stay civil. Today, though, I didn't give a fuck. I, if I hadn't gone to the back to calm down, I would have had a full-blown panic attack. So thankfully I did that. So I basically walked up, I basically stormed up to him and was like yelling. I was like, motherfucker, I swear to fucking God, don't you fucking just, like I am terrified of the goddamn dark, right? You just, you're gonna, I'm gonna fucking stab you with a fucking spoon. Like it's going off like that. Like I was literally threatening to stab him with a spoon. With a spoon, not a knife, a spoon. Cause when I get violent, the thing is, I don't think like, you know, the most, the most like easy thing to do. Like, you know, normally you like threaten stab someone with a knife cause that's like, you know, easy and, you know, and all that stuff. But no, you threaten stab someone with a spoon? If you can actually pierce skin with that, you know shit's about to get real and you know that shit's gonna hurt. Cause that shit's not sharp. So, yeah, I was, yeah. Um, and he was like, oh, it's just a joke, I was just joking, um, and, and, yeah, so if you're that guy, if you do that, like, someone's obviously pissed off and, like, upset at you, and you say, oh, it's a joke, you can go fuck yourself, alright, that shit's not cool, I don't care if you think it's a joke, it wasn't a joke to me, okay, if I don't find it funny, and it was towards me, like, oh, it's just a prank, bro, I don't fucking care, alright, you did the act, if I punch you in the face for that act, you can't say, it was just a prank, I don't give a shit, okay, you fucking hurt me in some way, shape, or form, all right, you play it on my fears. You may have not known those were my fears at the time, but that still is not a cool thing to do. Like he might, he doesn't, he didn't know I was afraid of the dark, but that still isn't cool to just close the door on somebody in a fridge and turn off the light. All right, like that's not cool to do to anyone, and it doesn't help that I ha was like already anxious and like scared. So it, just don't. Okay, okay. If you're one of those people, go fuck yourself. Thanks. Okay, wow, I already talked about that for four minutes. This was supposed to be a vlog about anime, and I talked about that. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Okay, but I'm going to try, try not to talk, take too much longer of this vlog to talk, because I'm going to talk about the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Um, I'm pretty sure they came out, like, yes, like a few days ago. Yeah, shit, what the fuck am I high on? But I didn't see them until today. Um, and I saw them today because, you know, the anime man made a video about it. And I was like, oh yeah, that came out. Let me uh, go check it out and whatnot. And 
I'm gonna preface this by saying I haven't watched anime since, like, I wanna say the summer season. Like, the summer season or the beginning of the fall season. Was it a fall season? I don't know, but I didn't, uh, it was either, like, the beginning of fall or, like, the end of summer that I stopped watching anime for a while. Um, and I haven't watched any since. So I think the last anime I ever saw was fully, um, Sakamoto Desuka. And then partially My Hero Academia and His Niver was the other one, that was it. So I've only, I haven't seen too much of the anime. Um, most of the anime on the list, I've seen either a few episodes or I haven't seen whatsoever. So this is not like my opinion of like, oh, this anime is so much better. Um, or like, oh, this didn't deserve it. But there is only one anime that I'm just like a little bit eh about. And that is how many nominations fucking Yuri on Ice got. Holy shit, I refuse to watch that anime because... One, okay. Ah, what the fuck's in my throat? Ah. Um, so one, like, if an anime gets hella hyped, especially by a certain fan base, there are certain fan bases that you can tell if the anime is going to be good or not by the fan base also. Like, so there is the kind of, like, popularity that some animes get where it's like, oh my god, it's an amazing anime. People, like, recommend it to you. People are saying how good it is and stuff like that. But it's all positive and it's all, like, and... You know, they may not, they may not like to take criticism of it, but you can kind of give, you can kind of get a vibe from them of, oh, this is actually a legitly good anime. This isn't just a cult favorite. You and I, I did not get that feeling whatsoever. I felt like that was a straight up cult favorite, but that's also because it was Yaoi. And there's a reason why I don't like, there's like another deeper reason why I don't like Yaoi, just other than like, just the fact that it's two guys. Like, cause okay, I have nothing against Yaoi or, or like, um, two guys whatsoever. It's just not my preference. I don't like watching Yaoi because that's too many dicks for me. <laughs> that's just honestly too many dicks for me. So, just saying that. Um, but, yeah, so I got the vibe of a cult favorite. Like, a cult following. Like, people were always being like, oh, it's the best anime this year. It's a really good anime. Like, oh my goodness. And I didn't... The, every time someone talked about it to me, it did something just felt off. The only time I actually felt like, you know, maybe this is actually really good was when someone started talking about the animation of the, of the um, ice skating. That was the only time that I was like, okay, maybe that's good. But when it came to, like, the character of the story, I actually don't even know the story because no one ever talked about it. They only talked about the shipping or, the, uh, choreo or like, the choreography for the ice skating. So I don't even know what the fucking story of this anime is, which tells you something. Like, if you can tell what the, anim what the story of an anime is from its following, that's kind of a good, that's kind of a good sign. What I was really happy with, though, because, um, again, there was a few things I did see. Hold on. I have the list, like, of all the of all the things. Okay, so the only one I was actually able to, like, give any opinion on straight up was um, Best Comedy. And that's because I had seen Sakamoto Desuka, Konosuba, and Space Patrol Luluko. Granted, I haven't finished Konosuba because I physically cannot finish it. It's not a bad series, but one of the characters, Darkness, I, I, I can't. There's something about her character that makes me really uncomfortable. Um, and then Space, Space Patrol Luluko, I haven't finished that either, but from the, like, the few episodes I saw, it was hilarious. Holy shit. But that was like one of the only one I was actually able to say anything on, and I was so happy that Sakamoto Desuka got first, got first place on that. Oh my god. It was, honest to god, my fucking favorite anime right now. Like... I'm not normally a fan of, like, silly, um, comedy animes. Like, I always find them funny, but they never really get my top list. Cause my top list right now is, like, Higurashi, Kill a Kill, and Madoka Magica. There's a theme there. <laughs> There's a straight-up theme there. Um, so the fact that Sakamoto and Jessica is, like, high up on my list of, like, favorite animes, I think it's, like, fourth or fifth, actually. I don't really know the numbers. I only know the top three, because, oh, oh I, love, I love those three so much. But, like, the fact that Sakamoto got really so high is just, oh, I love the anime so much. It was so good. I was so happy it got up. But I noticed in all of the categories, or almost all of them, there was Yuri on Ice. And, and of course, every category Yuri on Ice was in, it won. Including, which I'm a little salty about this, even though I haven't seen any of the animes, is the most heartwarming scene. And that's because, so, just by looking at the title, Kaio's first home-cooked meal... And looking at the picture for it, I have a feeling that this is going to be already really heartwarming. So I was kind of like, I kind of hope that one wins. You know, that seems like a really good moment. That seems like something that 
would really warm your heart. Either that or Makoto flies over her new home. But again, I haven't seen either of those anime, so I'm just sitting here kind of going by the titles. And then I see the kiss from Yuri on Ice. And I was like, okay, that's going to win straight up. Which it did, by the way. Uh, and I actually watched that scene. I watched that scene. And maybe it's because I didn't know context, but I saw it and I was like, okay. Okay, they kiss. Is that it? Is that all you're going to give me? I, it, like, if it was, I don't, again, maybe it's because I don't have any context to it, but it just seemed so just, okay, they kissed. Anything else? This didn't seem really, like, heartwarming. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just a cold-hearted person, and maybe I just don't like couples, um, but that just didn't appeal to me. But, wait, what was the best couple one? Was that one I was also just like, no, that was one I... I expect it straight up, but yeah, no. But also, also looking at this and watching uh, the vi the anime man's video on it, I, I actually am gonna go and start watching the animes from last year to catch up on them, and also so I can form like an actual opinion on all of these, um, all of these nominations beyond just being like, you're a nice cult classic. I feel like that only got that only won half of these because of how popular it was at the very end of the year. Um, so I can definitely say that for best boy, Deku should have won that shit. Fuck you. I like Deku a lot. Deku was my boy when I watched Acad he and My Hero Academia. I, I, I'm still annoyed at myself for not finishing that because I loved him so much. But I was watching it when they first came out with it. So I had to wait each week for an episode. And of course, if I have to do that, I'm going to forget. I like binging shit. All right? I don't like having to wait a whole week. I just like to binge watch it. So I didn't finish it because of that. And I need to because Deku. Deku's so cute. So precious! He's my precious boy! <laughs> oh yeah, um, I found my little bit on the animation was I'm like, oh yeah, there's a reason I was talking about them in the first place beyond just like that, that's, that's the reason I'm gonna get back into anime. Um, but I'm annoyed that they even had the option to put the same few animes for so many different categories. Cause I'm pretty sure, um, Yuri and Ice was in like, a majority of the fucking categories and same with what was the other one it was like something of the iron fortress what the fuck was it called hold on i can go to goddamn best fight scene and figure that shit out um uh, it was kabinari of the iron fortress that that mob psycho and like you're nice was in almost every category and i'm a little annoyed because again there's a lot of other stuff um that was in there that wasn't featured a lot best opening Kisniver. Um, I, I can talk all I want about fucking Kisniver opening. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, God. But, but like, yeah, that's, like, the one thing I don't like, I didn't like about this entire thing. And the reason why I want to get back in the anime so I can actually, like, say anything about the actual categories. But I can say, though, that they probably should have had a more diverse, like, they probably actually should have done their fucking research and looked at more than just the popular three, four shows. Because, ugh. Fucking Yuri on Ice wants almost goddamn everything. <sighs> That's a really fucking long vlog. This is me talking about fucking... <sighs> I'm just gonna fucking go now because, one, I can't talk anymore about this without, like, or, like, with my own fucking opinions because it just being be me being, like, fucking cult classic. I goddamn hate it when a show gets a cult classic because it just suddenly that show becomes fucking everything. It doesn't matter if it was actually that amazing. It doesn't matter if it was actually that good. It'll just, it'll just win fucking everything if you give it the option. Ugh. Fuck. God fucking damn it. Bye. Fuck it. Just bye.